where she just seems, you know, to be in a little over her head. I don't think Sarah Huckabee Sanders was faring any better during the Trump years in that room, though. Sure. I'm not sure in terms of the ability to do what they do. The administration was less straightforward, whatever you want to say. But in terms of the job of press secretary, being able to mm -hmm, respond mm -hmm, to questions, mm -hmm, and right? even if it's a non-answer, sort of like the non-answer you gave me to the first question, you would have- ah! Before you all lose your minds in the comments, yes, I know, that's Mark Dice's thing. I can't help the fact that's just how Brian Stelter sounds. That's right, he's back, rounder and greasier than ever. And before we get into all of this, with everything going on in the world and with our economy, I think it's time to ask yourself, are you new to investing? And do you have savings that need protecting? Right now, with the Middle East War, the Ukraine, Ukraine war and maybe Taiwan very soon, you need a playbook that's safe. Allocate some gold right now and avoid the frenzied panic of the unprepared. When fear reigns, gold protects the wise. Noble Gold Investments offers a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin with new IRAs this month. Shield your savings with the Noble Gold Investments IRA. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there is no guarantees of any kind. All right, so let's go to, we're not gonna get a straight answer out of Brian on that one. I get it, all right. What do you think of the White House press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre? I've often said that I think she's in over her head, that she sometimes get asked questions and she responds in a kind of word salad. Um, your thoughts? I think it's a combative press room and that's a good thing. It's good that she is challenged and scrutinized. You were serious about that? I don't think so. Is she though? I mean, that's one of the most maddening things about Democrat press secretaries, and especially one of KJP's high intersectional power level, is that they're not scrutinized or challenged by the largely Democrat members of the press. Sure, you do get some pushback from the likes of Peter Ducey, Jackie Heinrich, Stephen Nelson, and some others, but when it comes to ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, PBS, New York Times, Washington Post, and the rest, we get occasional soft pushback, but it's always Always, always from the left. But I must say I'm not surprised at all that Brian Stelter's already gaslighting the audience. Here's where I have sympathy for her, though. I don't think you feel the same way. The clip culture, the internet clip culture takes all of her worst moments, and sometimes people only see those, and they don't That's see true. the full press conference. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. First off, the reason there's so many clips of KJP is because she's prone to repeating words and phrases over and over instead of giving answers. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. We don't have anything. I just don't have anything. Don't have anything. So I don't have anything. 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 I just don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Well. We're, we, I don't have anything, but the, I don't have anything. Don't have anything. Don't have, we, I don't have anything. So I, I don't have anything. We don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. Uh, I don't have anything. Second, she's the White House press secretary. Her job is quite literally to go out and create clips for the media. She's just not good at it. She's awful. She may be the most awful to ever hold the position. And it's obvious to everybody both why she got the position and why Brian Stelter won't criticize her. I am obviously acutely aware uh, that my presence at this podium uh, represents a few firsts. Uh, I am a black gay immigrant woman, the first of all three of those to hold this position. But when you do watch the press conferences, there are a lot of moments which aren't sort of the gotcha, oh, this sure. is ridiculous, where she just seems, you know, to be in a little over her head. I right? don't think Sarah Huckabee Sanders was faring any better during the Trump years in that room. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure in terms of the ability to do what they do, which is answer questions. You can say that you think she was more deceptive. You can say that you think that, you know, someone in the Trump administration was less straightforward, whatever you want to say. But in terms of the job of press secretary, being able to respond to questions, and right. even if it's a non-answer, sort of like the non-answer you gave me to the first question. 
one word and I hit you again. I'm telling mother. Uh, you would have been ah, very, you would have so been you a, want better yeah, non-answers. I want better words. non-answers. I, I want better <laughs> non-answers in part. <laughs> Jeez. I'm actually starting to feel bad for Brian Stelter. I've never seen anyone else in the media get so disrespected right to their face live on the air. All right, folks, that's all I can take of that. But I did want to apologize to everybody because I promised daily content and I have not been living up to that lately. But it's just that life has been so busy. As many of you know, I'm a stay-at-home dad. I do have four kids, one of them being a toddler. And I just haven't had the time to put out good content. When I put out a video, I want it to be useful and informative to the viewer. And I just haven't had the time to do that recently. But help is coming and I'm gonna have a lot more time to put out content. Until then, see you on the next one.